Derek, and its destructive path is headed north a little. Yeah, it, it looks like we're going to get uh, what I'd like to call a glorified rain and windstorm here mm. across the area. We need the rain, but some areas are going to get a little too much at one time. So that's kind of we're going to be pinpointing that plus some severe weather possible as well as we track the system as it makes its way northward. This rain is really not directly associated with it. We had a front that came through the area last night. It has stalled out. We've got moisture pooling up along the front and it's creating showers and storms right now. You see the pretty decent downpours. This has pretty much been sitting here for the past hour. So rainfall rates have been exceeding an inch to two inches per hour in some instances. So you can see where all these purple and red colors here over in Cords Ken Island. Uh, that's where we're seeing some of those really, really heavy downpours. And that's where we easily could see perhaps some minor flooding in some areas. So for Thursday, periods of rain. Debbie will get closer to the area by Thursday night and Friday. Looks like Thursday night, Friday morning, some of the heaviest rain across our area. A little bit stormy, too, as we track a possibility of a tornado threat east of the center. But the weekend right now is looking fabulous. So all of this is going to be moving out of the area very quickly Friday afternoon and Friday night. And then we're going to end up with a pretty nice weekend. Temp 70s and 80s right now, 90 right now in Frederick. So that's the low 90 degree on the map. It is still a little bit humid in some spots, particularly south of the front. We're going to continue with chances for showers and storms here this evening with that front hanging in the area. It's going to keep igniting rounds of showers and storms. Meanwhile, we're continuing to watch Debbie, which is about to make a second landfall. It came out over the Atlantic. Now it's moving back on shore and all these bands of rain that you see rotating on shore. This is what we're going to be dealing with Thursday into Friday. The Hurricane Center track still to the west of Baltimore at I-95. Earlier in the week, it was over here, which meant we were in more position for some of that heavier rain. But now that the track has shifted west, the heavy rain axis is going to be right here across parts of western Maryland, and that's where we're expecting upwards of seven inches of rain out to our west in the mountains. We do have a coastal flood watching effect for Anne Arundel County. That's where we're going to see tides running about two to two and a half feet. Very typical with a area of low pressure, especially tracking just off to our west with that easterly flow. And of course, there you go with the flash uh, with the flood watch. I should say where flash flooding could be possible in some areas Thursday into Friday. And here's that conditional tornado threat. Conditional meaning certain things have to happen in order for the tornado threat to materialize. And one of them has to be instability. You got to have the unstable air, the fuel for the storms, and you also have to have the wind spinning in order to get the uh, storms to really get going and wrap up. And that's what we expect here Friday morning into Friday afternoon areas in green I-95 eastward to the eastern shore potential for isolated tornadoes on Friday. So rounds of rain expected here on Thursday. Then we're going to be watching Debbie as it lifts northward. Pay close attention to where all the heavy rain is and how long it lasts. There it is right there. Look how it's just red and orange for most of the time in western Maryland. Meanwhile, we're going to be watching this band right here as it comes in. Uh, to the Baltimore area. That's where we could see some rotating storms. So that's where that tornado threat's going to come in. If this forecast model is right, we're going to be done with this by Friday evening and we're going to enjoy a really nice Friday night and Saturday and Sunday looking good. Central Maryland for tomorrow, we're expecting a mostly cloudy sky. Good chance for rain. Temperatures upper 70s to around 80 degrees. So not going to see uh, much sunshine here over the next couple of days, but that's going to change this weekend. Here's your first alert seven day forecast alert day for Friday. We'll be keeping a close eye on the flood threat and the tornado threat for Friday. But then after that, several nice days in a mm -hmm. row and we'll deserve it after what we'll see in the next couple of days. That's good coming up. Mm -hmm. All right, here's a nice.